Here we go. Funnest thing. Funnest thing you've done today, Si. Funnest thing. Funnest thing I've done today? Yep. Whether well, that dress with clothes on or clothes off. Si, this, let, let, me, let me just make this very clear. What? This is a family show. Oh, family oh I'm show. sorry. So, oh, I didn't know it was on the air. Didn't know. Do you even know what a podcast yeah, is? No, I don't, tell you the truth. <laughs> you don't? I've heard, you know, I've heard it Phil and Jason, Willie, no, not Willie, Al. Have had one going for a couple of years now. How long have you known your nephews? Uh, most you, of my life. And you still get them confused? Well, I, we, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's Silas from there. Uh, now, let's talk something that's relevant. Did everybody enjoy Thanksgiving? Ooh, boy. Well, I mean, yeah, if you like eating too much. and Very relevant. Well, hey. Hey. I mean, what is Thanksgiving I didn't for? like eating too much. Hey. Well, you certainly didn't eat too well, little, hey, did you? I, you don't I look, sure did You don't look like you like eating too much. Either. Hey, let me tell you, I put a pork <laughs> loin on the grill. I injected just one? it the other night. Just yeah, one? Just one. You injected it? Yeah. With some kind of stuff Paula got, I don't know, and uh, mixed it up. Man, it was good. It was juicy. It was, I think I'm going to have me some more when I get home. So at the Godwin, the Godwin house, pork replaces turkey? No it, turkeys it, around Joe house? It did yesterday. Okay. I can get by. Look, hey, you don't have to talk me into banning turkeys from Thanksgiving. Hey, please. last year we no, had. Hey, wait a minute. What do you got against had, turkeys? Huh? What have you got against turkeys? I Just that they're. Not the, last Just, year we had fried crappie. I get. For look, Thanksgiving? I, we, we, I'm, I'm coming to your house because, right. look, crappie, that is the other white meat. Like, yeah. I mean, you start comparing. A turkey's pretty low on the list of things to eat. I but, mean, he really is. But it's a holiday. Crappie around not here's for like, the turkey. Crappie yeah. around here is like every Tuesday. Yeah. I'm just, On Thanksgiving, you smoke a turkey and you fry a turkey. In the hierarchy of fried, in the hierarchy of farm animals that we eat, that turkey is on the low totem pole. He way down here. Yeah. That uh, pig. He's, that he's that pig. No, he ain't got no tradition, yeah. JD. <laughs> yeah, y'all well, just y'all abandoning no America itself. That's right. I mean, that's... You know that, what I'm going to do? That's our, our bird, boys. You know what I'm going to do for Christmas? Deep fry a prime rib. Deep I'm interested in that. No. You're running, you you running a good prime rib. I'm yep. going to deep fry another Not. turkey. Right. I'm totally cool with it. I just... I mean, turkey's fine. I just think he's a little overrated. Here's the That's deal. all I'm going with. Are you eating the skin? Of course the I skin, am. The skin... A fried turkey, just eat the skin. Oh, yeah. I have for years wanted to... Have fried chicken skins, like in instead of yes, instead of pork rinds, chicken rinds. You yeah. want to talk about good? Oh, good grief! What are right. you talking about? Good y'all grief! Lost, hey, y'all have lost y'all. If mind. I could go to the gas station and get a bag of Popeyes fried rinds, spicy, your boy would wait way more than he does now. I think it'd be worth it. Well, look, pork rinds are good, but chicken, anything? No, you don't like a chicken skin? Hey, no. What? You don't like chicken? No. Hey, no, I ain't too much on chicken. Chicken is, hey, you talking about low, hey, it didn't even make the pole. Okay. <laughs> that chicken. Yeah. That no, chicken's like, no, that right. chicken's like a solid bronze metal. Now look, hey, I know I America, lo- hey, I know America loves it because they eat like something like 60 million a day. Well, we ain't got but 19 chicken restaurants in right. this town. Didn't make the pole. i tell you what didn't make the pole. Uh-oh. It's oak. Oak tree. Oakry. It ought to be getting the law to grow it. Oh, no, 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 son. You don't, Oakry, you don't, hey. greens, no. I don't like hey, anything. No, you don't even know what's good. I okay. know. Oh, they I, say, well, you hey. needed to have, hey. if you'd have hey. had so and No, I've had that too. You know, like, Stone, like Stone told me, I ate too many Twinkies. You look like you had your share of Twinkies, buddy. <laughs> oh, Twinkies, okay, is, hey. on, Twinkies yeah. is on yeah. the pole. Well, hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was hey. just being mean. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I, I mean, I must say, I'm not stunned that Goblin doesn't care for But y'all forgot about the, tra- the, no, the like tradition that. of Thanksgiving. And that you got to cook a bird, turkey. and it's got to be a turkey. Thank you. For okay. Thanksgiving. I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he's overrated. Incorrect. The if turkey? it's overrated, you shove a duck in it, then a chicken in it, and then you got the best of all worlds. Uh, then throw some sausage and some crawfish in there. Hey, speaking about ducks. And eat the crawfish. Hey, Stone just come to my house. The Uh-oh. real the real reason I'm late today is Stone grill some wood duck breast. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, and wrapped them in bacon and all this. And, oh, that's oh, good. Yeah. Then we'll put a little honey, honey on them before he took them right up, before he took them off. Okay. And I, I made myself sick on them. You didn't bring us any? Yeah. No. No, we wasn't none left. Is so, that what's still in your beard? It may be. They was that good. I ate about 10 of them. Okay. They was fine. 10? Oh, yeah. Where'd they you were. put them? Huh? Hey. In the bottomless right pit. There. Look, right they there. ain't digested right. yet. <laughs> There were hey, there were three hey, big boys that worked here, but a fourth one. Oh, no, hey, Willie, Willie, I've got a bigger belly as Willie now. Oh, he's lost weight. He's there. lost weight on me. Oh, okay, boy. I'm gaining. It. It's all belly. But y'all still have those. I'm like a big op. I got a lot of belly meat, boys. <laughs> and bird legs, <laughs> yeah. both of you. He no yeah. longer has hey, to stand hey. sideways and stick his chicken tongue out to my no. chatter. Chickadee or kill D legs. That's why he likes they turkey so much. They were for walking in the water. Yep. He yeah. looks like a turkey. Who, Martin? <laughs> no. You, no. Martin's no, legs match like his no body. Turkey. Yeah. Oh, no, you you yeah. do look like a turkey. But look, hey, speaking of turkeys, you know, probably one of the most popular segments from the show was Cy acting like a turkey. Hey, oh, we, yeah. Hey, yeah, we, yeah killed, we, about killed, that. we killed a couple of turkeys that day. That's what I'm I talking had, about. I have to remind you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I remember. <laughs> he was yeah. out there with the fan going, cha cha Yeah, when he was trying to be a geisha girl or whatever. Until, he was doing. hey, until Jace reminded me, okay, that's how turkeys get shot. I said, ooh, I better I be stop this. <laughs> yeah. I but, don't want to take a, a load of fours. Hey, you know what else was good about turkeys? On Duck Dynasty, what? the Thanksgiving episode, when Phil went on the most epic rant about the weather of oh. all time. Oh. oh, does nobody else remember that? I don't remember. I don't that. remember. Y'all did the Thanksgiving episode at the uh, like the news station. Yeah, and they cut to yeah. Phil in the weather. Oh yeah, and he's standing <laughs> out on his property. Goes, it looks like it's oh. gonna rain. <laughs> Therefore, fifty percent rain. It yeah. will or it won't. He yeah. said, "Hey, weatherman, yeah. step outside." Yeah. yeah. No. What are you asking me for? <laughs> well, no, no. You got to understand though. The people that do weather live in buildings, okay, and most of the time they're like forty stories. Where do you live? <laughs> yeah. Do, you don't live I, in a building. I outside. also live in a building. Damn it. So I only I trust campers for the weather. Turn. <laughs> they only trust I hobos, live, boys. I live in a modular home. A side pad. Oh, a trailer. Okay. okay. No, yeah. hey. Huh? It ain't a trailer. Can it's I a put modular home? Modular. Okay. It went from modular to modular. Mod- okay. Yeah. Well, hey, That's right. a step I'm, up. Hey, yeah. I'm not K. I mispronounced words. You a lot. still? Hey, look. You still getting your licensing deal off that side pad? Are we back? Are we back advertising no. those? Or where are we at no. here? So, no. do um, you live in a side pad? No. I live in a one of them. It took three trailers, three Uh-oh. three uh, trucks, three, three what? <laughs> three trucks, what three say? what? Three tractor and trailers oh, to oh. bring it. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. And then they put it together because it's a modular home. So if I wanted to right now, yeah, could I put axles under your home and take off? Well, you probably could, but you'd have trouble unhooking all the, you know, plumbing and all that, electricity, all that. Uh, just, just asking for a little uh, clarification. Oh, it That's would, it would, I mean. it would probably, you probably could jack it up and drive off with it. So, Sai, the first thing you did after making, let's just round a nice round number, let's call it a million dollars from yeah. the show. Yeah. Was you bought a trailer? You didn't pay. Hey, for I don't tell you, it's not a trailer. You know. You know, Clayton Holmes is rolling over in their grave right now. No, I know. You call I just them like... their modular homes or trailers. I know that. Phil, just Phil told him that, and he said, it's not a trailer. <laughs> he was close I said, hey, uh, oh, I, will, I will remember, <laughs> don't ever use the word trailer I with know. Clayton Holmes. But it's way funnier when I talk about you and I tell people that story. That the first thing you did that when you made a bunch of money was buy a trailer. Well, everybody I, everybody no, no. laughs. It no, kills no, everywhere no, no, I go. No. Yeah, but you misquoted it. He didn't buy it. Ish didn't buy nothing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> your boy. Okay. Ish. Ish. I wasn't Ish. Ish. No, no. I wasn't like Willie, Jace, uh, yo, all that. Me and Phil. No, I didn't spend my money. Whose money did you spend? No, I, it was mine I made, but I did not spend it. I invested it. 
Yeah, he invested it in the local underground poker tour no, around here. No, and all those no, guys, no, hey. all those guys are driving new trucks. I'm and glad. All built hey, new houses. no, they, they, they call pool. me. Yeah. They call me their full one K plan. But hey, the little bit they don't tell you about is every once in a while I walk out there with just pockets full of cash, all pockets. Uh huh. And he reports it. Okay. To the IRS. Shh. In case no, anyone yeah. don't it. don't tell anybody. Right. Shh, no, don't tell anybody. Oh, so uh, you're, you're killing me. Yeah. Right. I walk out with pockets full. That one time doesn't equal the 12 prior. Oh, that you walked out with that. pockets empty. Hey. So, no, no, but you brought that up. I, well, I don't play anymore. I know you don't. You've retired. No, no, I have. I've gave up that bunch. Okay. But you got oh, tired I mean, of playing he, bingo. He oh, no, no, bunch. no. We don't even know what to call it. Okay. What? What we, whatever there was playing. I don't even know what to call it. What? Okay. Cards? Uh, no. <laughs> Poker? No. Uh, it does not fit in any, any category like that. Okay. So, that's really not quit. Okay. You had a buddy with like a video poker machine at his house? No. Side. Side. Oh, no, all, I, I mean, he told you all you needed to hear about the turkey and tradition. Like, you start changing up the uh, game, that's not cool. So, I mean, I, I can respect that. Like don't oh. don't change the game. Play play for the love of the game. I, I get you. No, no, I'm with you. Stick no, no. with turkeys. Yeah. Well, they, they make it where it ain't no fun. Oh. I, okay. Cause hey, so yeah, the hey. difference between me and you, you just bailed on that game. I bailed on those games five years ago. What? No, no. Because it was no longer fun. No, no. So. Cause hey, I, I'll give you an example. We invited a guy, you know, to come play. Okay. He clipped us for four thousand dollars that night. And you know what he said when he got ready to leave? Bye. <laughs> Don't ever call me again to play poker with y'all. And we said, wait a minute. You clipped us $4,000. $4, what is wrong with you? He said, I've never run into a bunch of men that play poker that do not, what, do not know what the word foe means. <laughs> and on that note, folks, we are yeah. going to take our first break. I'm never playing poker with him. So, Sai, I gotta, I gotta know what is the, uh, what's the worst thing about getting older? Hmm. The worst thing about getting older, I'd say that you can't, when you get out of bed, you know, yeah, you, know, you, it, you can't do things that you used to just, you, you take for granted. Move fast. What did you used to do? You right can't when you move got out of fast bed? when you get up uh, out of bed. Jumping jacks. Well, no, no, you just, still, you know. So what you're saying is when you get older, you, you start getting like some inflammation and stuff like that? Oh, hey, you get out of bed and you hurt, and you ain't done nothing to hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you slept hard. I said, you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no. Our people have said that. Tell me, man, I slept too hard last night. Hey, well, Come that's on. a good thing that they've come out with that Omega XL, son, because it's backed by 35 years of research, which, look, I'm only 35 years old, so they've been researching this stuff as long as I've been around. What did you, what's this, this? It's the Omega XL, man. It's what it does is instead of just masking the problem, like pain relievers and and gels and all that do. Yeah. The Omega XL, you take it, it kills the inflammation that causes the pain. So there you go. I mean, what else do you want? It's not prescription, over the counter. And it's got thirty five years of research. Thirty five years of research and development, son. So, look. You want to get started on it, side look. All you have to do right now, you order one bottle of Omega XL, you'll get a second bottle for free. All you have to do is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. And you'll have... 35 years of research and development working for you. Hey, look. Cool thing is, duck season just opened. Oh. Right? And we are having the greatest first split ever. What is the one thing you remember from this week, si? What What's been the shining spot of this week while you've been duck hunting? The shining spot is that I have been... Dead on. Well, we it's are. like I've never stopped. He's Just, dead on yeah. every week. I mean, everything that flies by me, I really don't even have to shoot it. If I just look at it, it folds. 
Okay. But you quit looking at them after you've got six of them, right? But, hey, well, of course. Yeah. I was just making sure. Oh, He's sitting in there with a blindfold on after that. I, well, I, I hate for Sai to get over right. his limit. I well, looked no, no. at him. <laughs> hey, what do you want me to do? Yeah. No, well, this has been the greatest know. first split, okay, because we've, you know, hey, if you're, what, 30 one day, 25 the next day, 30 the next day. Guarantee. No, I, I have to – I have to agree with that. This first split has been special. It's uh, it's it's been really really solid. I mean, we've killed a lot of ducks. Yeah. A lot of uh, them them pesky kind. It's got that green head. What do you call it? Oh, oh yeah. mallards. Yeah, them mallards. Old mallard drakes. Oh, yeah, them, them pesky them. type. Like yeah. that weird noise. But... <laughs> Yeah. What is that? I don't know, but they've been making it all the way that's to the a, water. And it's that's right. Fun. Yeah, hey, and it's I so much fun. You. It's so much fun. Look, we killed one, Si, so Tuesday morning is probably a hunt I'll never forget. I've had two of those this week, actually, but Tuesday morning, first duck of the morning, come in, Mallard Drake backpedaling over the plugs, boom. Walk out there. Bam. Bit, Big old shiny man, piece man, of leg man. iron hanging he got off of jewelry it. Jewelry on, boy. Guaranteed. Look, and he was the 100th duck of the year. So that was pretty cool. I mean, um, you can't can't many people uh, say that. And then the last bunch of mallards of that morning, they come by as three of them. They come by, can't, can't, hit them one time. They turn. Well, when they turn, I notice one of them. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, he he different. Yeah, he, something different. Yeah, yeah. So they, I'm, I'm watching him like, you know, you watch it ball under them cups and them games, you know? That's that. That's that. And so when they get in the hole, I'm like, oh, man, he right in front of me. I said, this this going to be all right here. I raised my old 20 gauge up. And right as I'm getting ready to shoot him, boom, I was like, okay, well. You're late to the party. Well, he was in front of me. You are late to the party. <laughs> I guarantee you I was late because I was going to make sure I got him because I wanted to go inspect him. So. Yeah. You know what I did out of spite? I went to the one in the middle, bought, killed him. I said, okay, that's that's how you going to play this game? I can play it too. So we wiped them out, and I went out there, and I looked at them boys. I said, all right, who did that? Who fired the first shot? Yeah. And that one just kind of – he just he, he sheepishly raising his hand. I said, well, hey, I appreciate you saving me $350 on the taxidermy bill because if you don't get this thing mounted, me and you's going to wrestle out here. <laughs> and he said, what are you talking about? And I picked his wing up, and he had them white feathers. Yeah. One of the prettiest Mallard Drakes I've ever seen. Huh. Just beautiful. Now, I don't know what causes it. it. It could be a genetic mutation, or his mom may have got caught up on a golf course one night. It's, it's tough to yep. say, you know, yep. but he there's there's something cool going on there. But And we killed – it's been a cool week. We've killed a – we killed a banded redhead. Um, and this morning, we actually got a brewer's duck. You know what a brewer's duck is? Uh-uh. That's a Mallard Gadwall cross. So Clay got him this morning. So it's been a, it's been a fun week of duck hunting. It, it's I thought for, she was gonna say a Milwaukee duck or something. Well, they don't say where they're from. <laughs> well, yeah, failed fail them, <laughs> fail them, kill one of them. Yeah, that, it. it was crossed between a pintail, well, a gadwall pintail and a mallard. Oh, yeah. oh, three. And pack, hey, huh? No, no, look. Uh, I've often hey, heard ducks take three parents. Oh to, no, no, no. You talking about drop dead gorgeous? He was a beautiful guy mounting him beautiful yeah that's it it has been a stellar yeah. opening to the duck season i hope it continues we normally don't see jacks till late january Sai, you've been talking about jack every day of your life since i've known well, no you. no yeah. and hey i've never found him never met him <laughs> but you've been seeing him all week but, uh, what you hey, just said. Hey, hey i've been we, and we're hey we've been burning them as they fly by been skipping them off of water. Oh, what are you talking about? For those of y'all that don't know, a jack is a ring neck duck. Yeah. Uh, yep. We just we have a kamikaze. Yeah, we have a term here. We just call them black jacks. But. We had about ten coming to decoy, and I shot mine. He went across the blind. I shot him at seven feet. Me and you. Yeah. And I just seven feet decapitated That's him. All it took his headset no, off know. and everything. I yeah. took his head off. <laughs> Nothing left on there. He was just trying to make sure he didn't get within six feet. Oh, I didn't <laughs> oh yeah, social distancing. What are you doing? Uh-oh. He's <laughs> gone. I was wondering how long it'd take you to realize that you yeah. put your teeth uh, you got a leak, son. You got this some. Your tea podcast, jug's got a leak. Yeah. And he's leaving won't, it there. Oh. Won't you bring that tea jug over there where you can reach it? No. Say, I won't bring it over here. I love pouring on this equipment and then I'll be in trouble. <laughs> Well, that's good. We'd much rather you get up every, about seven and, times during the middle oh, yeah. of this. And, and pour it on our stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. just pour it on my station. That's cool. There you go. Um, 
You know what I got to say, Bofe? Uh-uh. No, say Suck it. it up, buddy. Suck it up. <laughs> Live with it. Actually, the up made it better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, family show. Thanks hey, for including. Well, hey, it's good tea and it's cold. Is it? Yeah. You just built And you're that. welcome to have your glass. No. I brought the whole jug. I know, but then I may have to start acting like you or something. I know. Well, hey, if look, we empty that, then everybody, you're gone. That's look, one thing. Everybody thinks it's got shine in it. Oh, shine? I don't. I know it's got yeah, whiskey shine. in it. That's no. homemade. <laughs> that's homemade brew. Homemade yeah. brew. Have you ever made homemade brew? No, I haven't, but I made a few trips to Tennessee, and the Tennessee boys know what they're doing when it comes to making some shine. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what you do is, hey, it's in a mason jar. Well, what you do is you buy you some cherries, pull the cherry juice out, and put them cherries in that shine and leave it overnight in the refrigerator. That, then you got something. That'd be what you call a cherry bomb, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> and, hey, it burns all the way down. Well, that sounds like something I want to do. Oh, no, hey, it's good stuff. <laughs> this is how they did – Yeah. Uh, Jolly Ranchers and Zimas, uh, but 1940s edition. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, most I people just one thing. Most 1940 people. was a good year. <laughs> was it? Oh yeah. I don't even yeah. remember it. Oh hey. Neither does I. I got nothing. That's why he knows it was a good year. Yeah. That was well. I wasn't. Time. I wasn't like old Chip. Chip says he remembers being in in his mama's womb. I, oh, yeah. If you could bang on that table louder for us, yeah, yeah we can't hardly hear it. Buddy Stein, guys, y'all get that? <laughs> <laughs> I, fix I, it. I apologize for that, boy. Hey, fix that in post. It'll be all right. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, so let me ask you something, Sy. Si. Since we've, uh, you know, I bet a lot of our listeners have seen the Unashamed podcast and listened to it and probably follow it uh, pretty close. What's it like having uh, having a female in the blind a lot more than? we've had in the past now i ain't been down there with you boys yet because i still got to work for a living up here so that's uh, actually put a new spin on duck hunting okay because it so-called duck hunting used to be a man's sport yeah now it's a man and woman's sport well, ain't nobody heard. farting in the blind okay. no more hey really i, ain't I heard. didn't i didn't no. figure that ever weed that out <laughs> It's been, it so, it's been so funny because the other day we got some in there and everybody was talking, well, I kill that, well, I kill that. And Phyllis just so stoned said, well, I can see the Robertson coming out in Phyllis. She he claiming said, them because, already? Because he said, hey, first thing we happened the last bunch, he said, hey, I killed those two. There you go. Yeah, Don't take said, her long to learn. Huh? Hold she's up, a, she's hold a quick up. study. Hey, that's right. That's right. Guaranteed. No, I, get, I kill those. Yeah. You know, and I said, well, you may have. Yeah. May have. May have. That's right. Big, big, a big may have. I've hunted with Cy for 12 years, and I ain't ever killed a duck when I went with him. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not one. Well, there. no, look, truth be known, if I want, every Here time. Here comes the truth. I'm hey, excited. No, no, hey, every time I'm gone. They don't get them? They don't get them. If I lay out today, hey, I will. I will say that, I laid out today because it's raining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they killed a few today, and I'm just so happy for them because hey, they don't ever, <laughs> you know, they don't ever kill them. So hey, today I can say, hey, you boys burned them yesterday. I'm uh, so happy for they're you. Confident. Uh, they're confident. They're confident in their shooting it, when you're gone. Yeah, right. it's not the shooting. It's the fact that you don't get out of bed unless it's going to be a good day. Yeah. Phil will just go even well, though it's going to be terrible. You, hey, when I get out of bed, it is a good day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you get my age, if you wake up, boy, it's a good one. Okay. Uh, hey, you boys understand it when you get about in the 70s. Oh, hey. See, I believe Because I'm living on the Almighty's time right now. Ain't we all? Yeah. Well, no, no. But I'm talking, the Bible says I'll give you, you know, 70 years. Well, I'm plus two. Oh, okay. So I'm in the bonus, bonus years, boys. Bonus. Oh, good yeah. night. I ain't got but 12 yeah. years left. Before you end overtime? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. I'm halfway to overtime. Good. Right. Oh, on. no, look, that's one thing. Uh, we was at Willie's for Thanksgiving. I'm looking at and talking about, wait a minute, who are all these people? <laughs> you yeah. didn't know the that's people? Your, so hold up. The Robertson I, Thanksgiving. Yeah, the, Robertson the, yeah. Because I'm looking and talking about, good grief. You know, I looked at Phil, and he looked at me. So we getting these boys right here getting old. Yeah. You know, so, hey, all the all the so-called kids, 
No, they ain't kids anymore. You know. That's that's what happens. Yeah, huh? yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, that's the bad thing. They grow, grow up. up. Boy, they grow up. <laughs> So I looked around and said, "Oh, y'all getting old." Yeah, y'all, I thought he said he didn't know anybody there. Oh, he did. Y'all, hey, y'all getting all long in the tooth around this joint. That boy. tooth still sharp, oh, ain't it? Hey, well, no, mine's missing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, ain't sharp, no sharp tooth. Hey, I will agree with you. There. Everything going south, boys. Taking a woman hunting is a good time. I oh took, no, no, I took mine hunting Saturday or Sunday morning and. She she had that twenty gauge barking, so she she said you got more shell. I said, Oh, yes, I meant, ma'am. No, I, I meant so yeah, I meant to mention that, okay? Because I get they hey they put spurs on and ride me like a yard dog. Yeah, because <laughs> I shoot because I shoot a twenty gauge. They call it a little pop gun. Uh huh. Because they always say when they, they fall out there about sixty or seventy or eighty or a hondo, they said, "Well, you're out." I said, "No, I'm good up to about one twenty five, boys." Open this, board with One, this little pop gun. 125 with a 20. That's that's hey, it's impressive, ain't it? That's better that's than I'm most. Talking. I'll give you that. <laughs> that's what I thought. That, it's hey, impressive. <laughs> that is, I'll way, help you out. That's yeah. way better than most. I'll give you that's that. That's some shotgunning, but I shoot a 20 gauge all the time, too. Hey. I mean, for well, the most hey, part. Look, but. why would you shoot a big, heavy 12 gauge, three inch or three and a half inch? Okay, when the people that you hunt with. We only shoot them if they're inside this room, okay? I could kill them with a BB gun, boys. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I'm with you. That's why I do it. Hey, I'm probably going to go to jail before I die. Uh-oh. Because I'm, I'm fixing to do this before I die. I'm going to take my twenty two rifle. No, you're not. Nope. Ta- yeah. oh, hey, yes, you I am. Right, hey, gotta, yep. Yes, I am. Yep, we got to take a, hey, we gotta take a quick sponsor. break. No, hey, um, quick break here. No, we got to take a quick yeah. break, Sal. We're yeah. out. Uh, uh, we're, uh, we're, boy, we're, we're taking a quick break because I'm going to kill these wood ducks. Just stop. Flying. <laughs> just stop. Flying with a headshot. Look, hey, hey here's the problem. <laughs> this hey. doesn't just affect you. It affects all of us, so don't be saying stuff like that. Uh, well, hey. You, uh, you can't plead Look. insanity on a game violation. Hey. Oh, Ooh. I can. <laughs> <laughs> you can't Look. spell insanity and without hey. S-I, can and you? Look, I'm telling you, <laughs> and the judge will probably say, granted. You think? That's yeah. right, I do. Well, on that note, we really are going to take a quick break, and right, well, uh, we'll be right later. back. So the other day, I had a phone call with the folks at Home Title Lock. Look. Let me just tell you boys about something that, that I had no idea was going on. Do you know there are people out there that will borrow money against your home? So here's the deal. So all the records used to be kept like at the courthouse, right? Yep. And then in the world we live in, somebody said, oh, this is a great idea to go to digital records instead of hard copies. So we all went online. Well, we know what happens when information gets online, right? Yeah. Hackers. Hackers come, they get in there, they go find the title to your home, and then if you have any equity built up in your home, they can take out loans against your equity all by just taking a uh, quit claim deed and signing your name to it, and it's basically saying you give your home to them, and then they can borrow against that, and you have no idea this is going on until a bunch of people start knocking on your door saying, hey, where's my money? And then you get collection notices and everything else. So it's actually, it's the number one white collar crime in the United States right now. Fastest growing white collar crime in the United States right now. What in the name of 2020 is going on? I'm just telling you. How could they do that? Look, hey, where there's a will, there's a way. I've always been convinced that, uh, you know, it'd be a lot easier to just work that same amount of time instead of do that. But look, we can all get protected. All you have to do is go to hometitlelock.com. Register your address, see if you're already a victim or not. Then you can use code RADIO for 30 free days of protection. That's code RADIO at HomeTitleLock.com. I'm going right now. I'm hmm. scared to death. That's, that's pretty wild. <laughs> oh. Wow. He said, wow. he said he's going to take wow. a 22 and headshot him on the fly. Yeah. Hey, look. I had an uncle that done it all the time. That's that. Statue of Limitations run out look, on that. Yeah. Hey, look. Yeah. Back in the 1800s. Yeah. 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 He didn't play poker, but he did gamble. And he gambled. The gamble was, I can take a twenty two rifle 
and we'll go down there on a woody roost. He's breaking the law to begin with, okay, woody roost. Okay, and then shoot wood ducks flying headshot only for a little nominal fee, whatever you got in your pocket. Why stop at a 22? Let's take a T-70 out there. Hey, oh, boy. <laughs> well, uh, hey, I don't want, no, 22 just pew, pew. A yeah. 270 is going well. For all you kids that may be listening to this, don't no. go, don't go no. wildly firing no. a 22 <laughs> rifle into the air. Size. That's this, it. This is one of his stories. Please know that uh, this is only 95% truthful. That's right. Yeah. That's all right. of this is right. made up. The last five minutes are the 5% that is completely made up. We, we do not condone <laughs> this, right. these types of That's reckless right. gun behavior. This whole thing's a lie. That's not even tea. What yeah. do they always say? I don't know, but you've the got affiliate, me the, the station or the affiliate with this does not necessarily agree with yeah, what Yeah, this is not our opinion. This is merely size. So yeah. please send yeah. all, right. all, no, all that's, questions that's to him. No, that's my dream wish okay is going to duck blind with a 22 rifle okay and kill whatever flies by with a headshot we can't stop it with a headshot he's, it's just he's not getting off of it no, no. all right we moving gotta, on yeah we got right, it moving right on. we, we don't go. have a break so we got to go somewhere else that's right. we don't have a break so you didn't hunt this morning no i didn't so you went black friday shopping because today is black friday for those listening, he's no, we recorded this on Black Friday. Hey, you just, you know, yeah, you just hit me with something that, hey, I don't even know what you're talking about, Black Friday. You know what it I've is. I've heard everybody talk about Black Friday. You go and you buy all your Christmas gifts. You got all that money from That's saving up price. on oh. buying a real house. You got a modular home. And from retiring from poker. That's yeah. Right. And so poker. I figured okay. everyone that's related to you is getting a really good Christmas gift. No. Yeah. So what'd you get <laughs> me for Christmas? No. He's just said no. Do you not give at Christmas? Uh, no, I don't give nothing at Christmas. Mm. Well, I don't. This segment I, brought to you by Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're no, changing no, those hey, from yeah. Uncle Si to Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, yeah. Good night. All right. Bye, hey, bye humbug. Hey, yeah. You okay. ever read that deal that's called It's Better to Give Than to Receive? Yes, sir, I have. Okay. That's biblical. Well, that's hey, yeah, that's the first thing that when the show was going full blast and I was actually getting paid really good money, I had to get a CPA, I was told. Yeah. Okay, and that was the first thing he said to me. Hey, you got to give all this money you're making away. So hey, it wasn't I to, have I have to him. It wasn't to huh? his charity, was it? No, no, it was to all these other churches. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. no, I know you. So you I did. know the better it's better to give than receive. But hey, I've, I've gave my portion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's done. <laughs> he yeah. said, "I'm all give out." Yeah, Boy, he reached his ten percent. Let me go take him out. No, two years. Hey, no, it went way above ten percent. I'm saying for your lifetime, just right yeah, there. Yeah. Boy, yeah, talking about yeah. Black Friday though, I got up last year to go hunting at three thirty, three thirty, and and there's a commotion in the kitchen. Commotion. And I go at three thirty in the morning. There's a commotion yeah. in your kitchen. Paula's in there, and all her friends is in there. They got. Some kind of cinnamon rolls built up and <laughs> coffee made and sitting there with the she table don't, with the sale papers. She don't do that for you every morning? Not every morning. <sighs> okay. But they was getting ready to go do that Black Friday shopping. I couldn't believe it. Mm, of course, I enjoyed me. it. You went? No, the... Have no. breakfast. <laughs> no. hey, breakfast he, he, he likes the, the benefit. Yeah, he likes believe. the benefits yeah. of Black Friday shopping. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There you go. The women come to his house early. Okay. Okay. I managed Bale all breakfast. Night. Bale Cooking coffee. Cinnamon rolls and all that sounds like a pretty good place. Hey, guaranteed. Si, since it is Black Friday, what what is the one thing on your Christmas list this year? I, I got to know. I don't even have a Christmas list. Well, what do you want? I got to get you something for Christmas. Why? Why not? Because we love you. You are. Well, that's. Hey, I appreciate that, JD. <laughs> I really do. But look, here, here's the thing. I don't need anything. I appreciate the thought. So, okay. all right, I'm going to think about getting inside yeah. a Christmas gift. And I want a butcher knife. No, no, because see, that's what you got. There we go. Look. You better. want a what? I want a 10 inch butcher knife. A big. <laughs> Like a meat cleaver? Stuff. Yeah, almost. Not quite. I got you one. Long. But I'll, I won't. I'll, I'll send I'll you a link. Right. That's what J.D. You got. You scoop your no. stuff up, throw it in there. Right. You can do a lot of stuff with a butcher. You can fillet crappie with it. You can do everything with a big butcher knife. Totally. Everything. I hate this fun. I love listening to grown folks talk about what they want for Christmas. Get yeah. that fun. Well, what do good. you want? What do I want? I, I have one thing on my list. And this, 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 this gets 
the age showing here. Oh boy. I want a fletching station for my arrows. I like station? making yeah, you it's a little thing you yeah. put on your table and you you little metal thing and yeah. You just you bolt it down to your table and then you fletch your own arrows. Yeah. I don't know why, oh. but I find that mildly entertaining yeah. and oh. stress relief. Well, so. it's, you had me. I didn't know what, what he said to begin with. It's satisfying. Uh, fletching arrows. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about bow, okay. for a bow hunt. Yeah. 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 Bow okay. Hunt. All right. When All you right. build your own arrows, it's satisfying. Yeah. I build mine. And yeah. I just buy the raw shaft. And mm-hmm. Well, we y'all go. need to just go ahead and make it go all the way. Make you a homemade bow and arrows. No, Hammer, I ain't that no. good. Mm-mm. You can no. learn. That's true. You've got That's a college learn. degree. Or Thank you. I can use my compound bow that works just fine. Yeah, but and, it ain't the same. Oh, it is to me. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Once I get that part figured out, then I'll move on to something more yeah. challenging. But I still manage to screw up plenty we already with are. a regulation bow. <laughs> yeah. So... I've, had a, with her eyes I've had a bow so. for about 10 years now, and I've never killed her, uh, anything with it. <laughs> I've so, I finally, got it. so I finally just gave it up, and I go with what I know what I ought to do. Take that high power rifle and go ahead and work, go back by whack. Oh, yeah. It I, scares me how much me and Sire are like sometimes. What, on no, them rifles? Hey, mm, just, yeah. use, just use what you know, rifles and I, shotguns. I, well, no, no, because every time I always I do something stupid to miss the deer. Well, yeah. I mean, I've had them literally. I'm up in 12 foot. Oh, okay? real high. The deer, yeah, I'm up there. You know, <laughs> and the deer is literally standing right under me. Okay. That's the said, hardest shot in both. Oh, huh? yeah. Well, hey, I missed him. Well, yeah. Well, as soon as I done that, I, 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 when I let go, I done that. Well, it, the arrow, the yeah. bow come up, and it went over his back. Yeah, don't let go. Yeah. And then, here's what happened. He should have just thrown I it shot, at him. I shot every arrow I had in my quiver. And I had twelve, because every deer, oh, ever, no, no, because every deer I seen after that, it didn't make it if he was a hundo or less. It was. Was this at the zoo? No, it was in the woods. Just I like to off. kill a big buck though. He was wow. out there about sixty, and when I drew back, he took off running. I just drew back and something. Side off. Side all, look. and then I know it draws back with a closed fist. Yeah. No, no, hey, you, look here. I get you. The deer's running, <laughs> the arrow, here comes the arrow, deer's running, here comes the, and right when it got, it was six to stick him, he ducked it. <laughs> Just, he uh, ducked it. And uh, I went, you golly. If, if we've learned anything today, Cy si wow. really wants to kill an animal oh, no, on I'm the not, run oh, no, or I, in flight. I'd like to <laughs> stick one with a boat, but I don't hunt with him anymore, so that ain't going to happen. Hey, yeah, I just gave it up. I don't blame you. If some things, you know. You just ain't gonna have happen to you, uh, and killing a deer with a bow ain't gonna happen to me. Hey, well, let, hey, before we give up all that, let's let's talk about that after the next break. How about that? Oh, I'm gonna give up on. It. Don't ain't <laughs> any talking about it. Yeah, yeah, I done, I done gave this idea up. This show's never well, gonna this, get to this break. This is one of them. Way. This is one of them dead issues. We're going to a break. Here's five yeah. more minutes of silence. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Look, that's what Hunter Boy and, and Cole's over there for. Uh, like but it, I've been uh, watching a bunch of them on on the TV. Yeah. Oh, so I I don't feel bad. So you you do wait? You don't feel bad? Do you do you see a path forward for you killing a deer with a bow? Zero. Zero path. Zero percent was ain't gonna happen. What about a crossbow? Would you do that? No. No, he's out. What's wrong with a crossbow? That's I'm too just curious. That's too dangerous. It is kind of scary. It's like no, no, it's da- that's arrow. a dangerous weapon. Thank you, fingers off. I've got me a couple of them with that crossbow, and every time I'm like, "Did I hit him?" No, that no, that thing no. moving so fast, no, no. you ain't got a clue. Yeah, that thing yeah, and, is and rolling. The arrow, I, I just the arrow's about that long. You're if using I'm, a different crossbow than me. Yeah, if yeah. I'm correct. Well, the one <laughs> I use squirrel crossbow. Yeah, well, no, the one I use was, was a little short thing. Crossbow, pistol. and it was it was just you know I didn't I told mm, no nah, I don't like this thing. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I can appreciate yeah. that. They yeah. do. They, they are, are dangerous. Yeah. You gotta admit, yeah. they're dangerous. All right. So we we know yeah. we got oh, yeah. Goblin's Christmas gift. He a wants butcher a butcher knife. knife. I want yeah. a fletching station for air. Fletching station. Okay. Johnny yeah. D. Yeah. Where where are you at, player? What, uh, what's on your Christmas this list? This is the manliest thing I've ever said. I'm trying to get a bigger bathtub. 
<laughs> well, buy you a kazoozie or whatever the name of the thing a is. A kazoozie? Yeah. What is it? What called? is a kazoozie? A jacuzzi? I'm more interested in a kazoozie. Yeah. Whatever, mm. whatever what is it is. You when you it get up? in it, does it go? <laughs> 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 this has got all kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Could, yeah, no, I'm going to get me a kakuzi. You are not musically talented. I don't know. That was pretty impressive. I, I don't think not. any of the other of us here <laughs> could play a with their mouth. Hey, for, for everybody listening to this, that was not an actual kazoo. That was a goblin's mouth That's doing right. that. Hey. I guess that's from years of trumpet playing. So. Yeah. Years of duck call building right there. Yeah. You, you was so, in the band? Yep. Uh-oh. A trumpet player in the band? I was. Was you pretty good? I was pretty good. Did you still got a trumpet at home? I still got a trumpet at you home. Bring it. Hey, bring it. You need to bring it. I, I, I played. Uh, Can you play blues? How far long has that been? Uh, about three years. Three years On the cruise. On the cruise. I played yeah. when the Saints go marching in on stage. Really? Where was I? I, give you I was there. on the cruise. Yeah. yeah. I was here. You was there. I missed you playing the Saints go marching in on Where'd the trumpet. That, what band well, was Well, that probably didn't sound exactly like that, but. It was close enough. It was close. I was very impressed. God, we got them old lips tight. Well, you, hey, you need to bring it. Yeah, and give them a shot of it here on the podcast, boy. Yeah. Every um, time Cy si tells yeah, something that's yeah. most likely not true, just blow the trumpet. Yeah. Well, yeah. heck, I'd be out of here. <laughs> no, no, no. Sound like the price brought, is right in here. Right, no, no, yeah. Since y'all brought that up. Uh-oh. Philip Middle, okay. I, I've told him for years when I had my open heart surgery. Mm-hmm. The Dr. White, when they, he cut me about 12 inches on the chest, then said, okay, rib spreader, put the rib spreader in and opened it up Well, him, his whole team. This is what they told me after I woke up out in recovery. They said, oh, oh you know, because my heart, there wasn't no fat around it. It just there, boom, 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 boom. Well, look, he didn't put me on a blood machine. He just rinsed in there, picked my heart up, and look, guys, think about this. He took a vein from my leg. He cut my heart and stitched that vein in between heartbeats. Boom, boom, stitch. Boom, boom, stitch. And then done it on the other side. I told Philip this story. Okay, he said, it, you know, he always thought it was a lie. So me and him are sitting in John Gimmer's new restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was doing a commercial for John. <clears throat> and a guy walks in to pick up what he's ordered. And he's wearing scrubs, okay? And when he turns around and walks by, he no, sees me. Old. He sees me and he says, Uncle Si, how you been after since your heart surgery? And I said, oh, I've been doing, doing good. And he said, man, that was the most amazing thing to watch Dr. White reach in your chest, pick your heart up, and then stitch that vein on each side. And Philip is like this. <laughs> yeah. I so, hey, it's a true story. In between heartbeats. In but you got to think about it. A human being good enough to hold a needle and thread and a slippery vein, okay, blood everywhere, and he sews it in between heartbeats. And look, if you look, take an x-ray of my chest, my heart, you can see where, where a piece of that vein is sticking up that he stitched on my, in my heart. He got a it's, little extra, huh? Hey, oh no, it's weird. It's the wildest thing. But I don't, hey, I don't know. I don't know how we got from a jacuzzi yeah, no, tub that's to here, well, hey, you just, All I wanted was a bathtub. Yeah. So. I know, but you made me <laughs> and, think about that. And I'm okay. still mildly well, interested in why a man that looks like him and is that size wants a new bathtub. Well, it's for my heart hey. because I'm scared. Of, that, I'm still <laughs> terrified of what just happened. <laughs> a man was holding size heart in his hand, just going at it with a needle. Hey, yeah. the man wants a bigger bathtub. <laughs> I know, but why? Because well, mine hey, is too small. It, hey, too small? That, it don't make any I'm difference. I'm confused. Why do you he had it? a hot tub on national television. That's well, right, on national a, television. A hot, tub, different. a hot tub is totally fine. That's, that's for recreation. Some, yeah, that's outside in the front yard. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, I baby. I like to recreate in my bathroom. Hey. In your bathtub. J.D. wants to have a party in a big bathtub. I, mean, I don't know. I, I just want to be in there myself. I'm just too big for my current bathtub. My house was built by tiny people. Clearly. They had a tiny bathtub. My feet hang out of it. I want a new bathtub. But why? What's wrong with taking a bath? Hey, the boy wants a bigger bathtub. So, hey, if you want to buy J.D. a Christmas present, 
Buy him a I, larger bath. I can't. I can't do that because I, I'm against baths. Like who's why, against why? baths? That's what showers were made for. I take those too. Amen. Hold it. Get in there and get out. You done missed the family tradition thing on Thanksgiving. There and we now go. You missed now the point. We're... You missed the point of of Christmas giving a gift. No, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm just give I... the boy what he wants. I ain't buying him a new bathtub. Well, hey, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. You ain't paying the cash to get him a bathtub. Here's the deal. I'm terrified because we're half an episode into this podcast, and all I've done is agree with Cy the entire time. Hey, that's on you. Well, look. (laughs) I'm known to most people, okay? Look, maybe next time we'll have y'all sit beside each other. I ain't got much sense, but what I do have is really good. Really good what? Good sense. Oh. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and take our last break. All right, of I'm going to go take a last bath. break. One last break. All right. <laughs> All right. I haven't even got the fact check side yet. Because <laughs> you can't. There's, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you can't. can't. Common, <laughs> common sense rules it all out. So can I mean, you stitch a uh, man's heart between while you. it is hey, beating? That's an amazing feat. I'm sure he it can, because I bet he had his heart like at like 40 degrees or something, something super cold where the all beats right. are super slow. Uh, all right, the first thing is a YouTube so. video called Can You Rip Out a Man's Beating Heart and Show It to Him? No. Yes, that we have gone away from the family show. Back no. to you, Martin. What, we're going down <laughs> a Bruce Lee movie? I don't yeah. know. Bruce Lee movie. One? I mean, We've got inside. <laughs> all right, anyway, so look, here's the deal. What else is I'm going to For you video. folks listening. Science. This is going to be your segment. So, our fans, Duck Call Room listeners, hey, that's kind of lame. We have fans? We may. Well, yeah. I mean, we're preparing to. Well, hopefully so, we're going to have fans. You got I mean, fans. I'm worried that this first week is just going to be size going to get back and have somebody email us a whole bunch of questions. Like, say, yeah, I've heard uh, of people doing that yes. to, like, confirm his story. No, no, no. So, so far, a doctor, the IRS, and a game warden are all going to show up at size house after yeah, this. As thing. long yeah, as they right. don't show up at mine, we're good. Right. So, yeah. But uh, anyway. Moving what, right along. What should we call? Our listeners. What should we call y'all? What like uh, the listeners? The listeners. Well, like I mean, we need like a cool like fan club. You know, like Grateful Dead had the Deadheads, and the you had the Kiss Army, and you know, Phil's is like the Unashamed Nation. What I mean, should we be like the Duck Pond or like the Lucky Ducks or the you know? Well, I mean, well, let's put some. We used to have the little fan club called Duckaholics. Should we bring that back? Let's do that. Duckaholics. Hey, Duckaholics. Me and my band had the psychotics, and we just called the psychos. I do not want to be a part of the psychos. I well, just, we I, had a lot of fun. I just want to be your friend. Both of you. Uh, hey, All right. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Him and Jack. Me and the psychos, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just call them the cool people. Oh, uh, Lord. The cool, All the welcome cool to the duck call room. Yeah. The listeners what, are the cool hey, people. And yeah, the listening kids. are the cool people. The cool kids hey. are back in town. So, right. for those hey. Of, Whoa. That's a good song. The cool kids are back in town. I thought it was the boys are back in town. That is not uh, a cool song. Cool kids. Oh. The cool okay. kids are I back I thought that was a thin Si, you do song. need to write us a bong, jingle, too. Bong. We need a fan club yeah. and a jingle. I will. Hey, we do need to have a jingle. Thank we you. Really I'll bring I'll bring I agree. I agree. Bring you bring your same page. JD got a good idea there. How about we got to come up with a jingle. Well, but hey, don't put it all on me. You're the musician. Hey, yeah. No, I ain't. You're the quote unquote recording artist. You're a, yeah, but hey, you're an artist hey, that has a platinum record. Yeah, but you got to have the songwriter. Okay, I'm not the songwriter. Oh. I'm the singer. Yeah, yeah. You may ought to look at that writing part of it because the singing didn't work out. So I know, well. I know. Gonna go change. Well, look, hey, for all of our listeners out there, look, you can reach us at hello. H e l l o at duckcallroom dot com. Shoot us an email. Let us know what you think. Let us know who your favorite is. We obviously know it's going to be Uncle Si, but that's fine. He's, that might not be true. He's our favorite I'm as just well. Trying to get one. Um, that may not. He be just true. wants one. Just, just one. 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 Just one guy. One fan. Hello yeah. at Duck He Call wants one cool kid. Hello. What's the subject going to be? Hello, Hello Clary. We're going to know it's coming from you. Si is boring. I put my favorite. Oh. Hey, oh, I'm sorry. Ms. And Redding. then, hey, this is what they need to tell us. What are they going to tell us? What would y'all like to hear us discuss? Open heart surgery. Yeah. I've already started that. 
<laughs> we can move right along, boy. Right? I haven't had it yet. Hey. I can't believe y'all are not amazed about that. I, to I, me, I, that's just amazing it that is amazing. someone's is uh, dexterous. What's the word I'm looking dexterous. for? Dexterous. Dexterous. Yeah, that's well, hey, that's, hey, pretty good. I was he close. had a 50 people change. I was change. close. Thanks, but to think about that, that a guy can do that, okay? Think about, you know, because I'm just thinking about the pressure. He's dealing with a human heart here. Yeah. And he's cool enough to say, stitch <laughs> in between your heartbeats. He said he's, he's cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey. That dude's cool I, as crap. Hey. 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 Give me about a minute. Hey. Oh. Hi. Man. Oh that's my unbelievable. Gosh. That is pretty impressive. No, no, it, it has happened. I'm telling you, I just my hat's off. No, no, we don't. You don't, don't have to take it off. My hat's it, off. It's a figure of speech. To nurses and doctors. Well, everybody okay. agrees well, with that. Well, hey, I'm just telling you. Especially these days. Yeah. Oh, my so God. I finally leaned into the microphone, by the way, right yeah, now. The last, if you were having trouble hearing start. them. Hey, now you ain't had, never had no trouble listening, hearing me. That's Thank a, you. That is a Thank true you. statement. Yeah, it is. True. Thank so I take prayer. that verse in the Bible of make a joyful noise to the Lord. With he, he takes it to heart, heart boys. boys. He leaned yeah. back again. He's back hey, away. Turn him you up. Still hear me? <laughs> you can still hear me. Boys. Trust me. <laughs> it's true. Ain't no doubt they can hear me. Uh, well, for right now, so we're just going to tentatively call them the Duckaholics. The Duckaholics. But look, yeah. we want to hear from y'all. So if y'all have any ideas, email us. Let us know. Shoot us an email, hello at duckcallroom.com. I like that. Shoot us got, an email. Friend? Who, who gets Shoot those emails? An email. You do. You're the one with the computer. You got the computer. So you're Somebody needs charge. to get me set up. I'm very excited about reading weird emails. Yeah, this uh, is good. The weirder, uh, the better. Uh, uh, uh-oh. Well, look, if y'all like what, what's going on here, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, check us out on Apple Podcasts. Leave us a review. Help get the word out. And until next week. We'll see y'all later. So you got anything you want to leave yes, us I in, do. inspired with? What's that? Inspired. The first chapter of Proverbs says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Think on that. We're out. See y'all next week.